Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to have you guys here. My name is Lorena Aguirre and I post here on YouTube every Monday and Saturday. All right you guys, I'm super excited because I am going to be showing you guys my room reveal and basically how I go about organizing and whatnot just because organization is something that helps so, so, so much, especially because if you guys are a nail tech, you guys know how many products you need, how many colors you need, how many jewels, how many everything, you know? So basically I'm gonna go and go ahead and show you guys how I do things and how it allows me to save so much space and if I do have things tips that I would add and that I could do to make it better for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and do so just so you guys are able to have your nail room super super organized um, and yeah so let's go ahead and jump into the video but before you guys but before you guys jump into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we post here every Monday and Saturday. All right, you guys. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, you guys. First off for my nail room, I have this little stand right here. This I love for organizing your acrylics. I like to have them on one swatch just so... If somebody is wanting to do a full set and do colored acrylic, you guys could hand these to them and they're able to see what they can get. Or all my gel polishes for colors. And then I also do all my stuff that has to be encapsulated. The reason why I do this is because um, with it having to be encapsulated, a lot of times people will want these glitters, but I'm like, I'm sorry, you can't have them because they have to do encapsulated and it's a lot of times where they don't want to have to encapsulate something because they don't want to be stuck with the design um, and these are all my chromes I keep them on here and I have them labeled all the numbers on them and then on some of them on the back I do have what they look like on white if you guys could see that I don't know if it's gonna focus but yeah so basically that's what it looks like on white and that basically allows me to show them what it looks like over black and over white. I got this idea from Fabi's Nails just because she would actually put them, she would actually put them over these black swatch sticks because it made it so much easier. But I love the way they look. I'm debating whether or not to change all of them to black swatch sticks. I don't know yet because I don't know how I would do these ones. But, and then right here, this is my little display case. If you guys don't know, which many of you guys already do, but I have an, a page, it's called Opulence Nail Co. And that's basically where I sell press-on nails and things to design the press-on nails. So those little decals right there, um, that's basically what I sell on my shop. And then I have little plants that I like to propagate. So sometimes you'll see some of those around. And then I have my iPad. Usually I do try to have some music playing. And then these are my my hand. This is my red iguana hand. Um, and yeah, I basically just put this on here. And yeah, um, I like to display the nails that I do in my video. So if you guys are looking for a Mickey Mouse series of nail art, make sure to check that out just because I, I am in the process of doing one. But I did want to do this video for you guys. And then I have all my little plants. This one needs some help a little bit. And then this one right here, this one's so pretty it shimmers um i don't know but it sh it's so shimmery it looks so pretty and then these are just a fake string of pearls just because i cannot grow them for the life of me and then my aprish chum legend um super amazing artist and he's just my inspo so of course he gets to be here in my nail room as well big omir i'm thinking about getting rid of it i don't know what do you guys think should i leave it here should i keep it should i go i don't know and then right here is just my kind of like my calendar and what i plan to do during the week and yeah this stand i actually made you guys if you guys want a tutorial on that i do have one i just haven't uploaded it yet so let me know and right here this this is actually my money box so if I do need change for my clients I keep this here and then this is my remote for my window fan that's behind that curtain um, I love this especially sometimes I'll keep this in my nail desk too it just depends um, but I put it in here but um, it basically controls my fan and then my notebooks these are for all my ideas for 
any YouTube videos or anything that I have going on for my shop, I write in there. And this is my log for basically how much money I'm making just because I'm trying to stay very organized with that. And I put all of my receipts in there. I go ahead and staple them in there. And then that is just another book that I haven't been using. And then these are touch up lipsticks and lip glosses. So just in case I need to touch up my lips while I am working. Um, and then these are, this drawer is kind of like just office supplies. I have grips and then these are some rings for um, pictures sticky notes um, you guys could kind of see and then this is where i keep all of some of my extra receipts for my business and then these are just color papers because i do hair color and then this is um my certifications for a lot of different classes that i had did but um this is what the wall looks like usually I have the curtains more open than that so more light could come in but because I am home based, I don't want you guys to see out my window because there's I live in the high desert and there's a lot of dirt over there. Um, but yeah, so and then on this wall, there is nothing right here. Um, but on this wall, I either plan on doing polka dots on this wall just so it could be a cute little accent wall. And then I plan on doing some big pictures of nails over here just and then some quotes just because I feel like it's important to have some quotes. And then this is my majesty palm. She was doing good until I forgot to water her. You could see her brown leaves. Um, and then this is my opulence nail co board. I ended up attaching it to my closet just because I felt like my closet looks so ugly. But um, so yeah, I went ahead and did that. And this is what I have on my desk. I like to keep this stuff on my desk just because it's too tall. This is just a salt rock. It's supposed to be good for so many different things. And another plant. And then my crystal in there. And then hemp's lotion. Hemp's, honestly, you guys, if you want a good lotion for your clients, that one is bomb. Um, it actually, it's not super, super greasy and oily. So definitely recommend trying that. And then I have my super glue. Um, and I have my monomer. My my spray bottle um it's a mister bottle this is awesome you guys especially if you guys need to wipe down your desk it missed out just like that it's so cool so i love this um and then my swipe have that right there and acetone right here um hand sanitizer of course and then my quats and then my little trash can and then this is my artistic lamp this is a really, really nice lamp. I'm gonna go ahead and show. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this just because I do love this lamp, but I am thinking about getting the Kiara Sky one. It's centered too, so if you put your hand in, it's gonna go ahead and turn on, and it has this little protection thing right here, and you could also even use it as like a hand rest, but I'm kind of afraid of doing that just because it has a little vents right here. I don't want um, the dust to get in there, even though I know some dust probably already has, but I mean, I think if you were to throw a towel over it, you should be fine, but it's acetone resistant, so you don't have to worry about that, and yeah, so... And then this is my armrest I put in the middle of my table. This is a tile from Home Depot. Um, just go over there, pick out the best one that you guys like, and yeah, put it on your table. This helps so much just because over here I kind of messed up my table. But I definitely recommend putting like a felt thing underneath the bottom of this. Just because it'll help um, not scratch your desk. Just because it scratched my desk a little bit. You can't really see on camera. but And then right here, this is my gooseneck lamp. You guys could get these off of Amazon. But, and then this is the clamp down at the bottom. All, I don't know if I could find this exact one off of Amazon, but if I find something similar, I'll definitely send you guys their way. Are you guys? And next is my Archon mount. You guys could find this on archon.com. And this mount is so amazing. If you guys haven't seen that review, make sure to check it out because I do compare two of their mounts. This is my little sign. I got this from Target in the $3 section. And all it says is Hello Spring. But I am going to be doing a price list on it and turn it this way just because I had updated my price list and I do want to be able to have it on display 
display for my clients for the first couple months. I'm not going to keep it there because I'm like real big on not leaving a ton of stuff on my desk. I'm very minimal when it comes to that. And lately what I've been finding that I leave on my desk is this book right here. You guys, you guys could get this book at Walmart for four dollars okay um i know it's not the prettiest but i mean maybe you guys could put some stickers on it or something like that but or stick a sleeve in there i don't know but so these are my decals these are what i sell on opulence nail co these are just some of the ones that i have right here and then this is just um you guys these are baseball card holders so that's all you look up on amazon and you'll be able to find these i'll go ahead and link them down below just because honestly you guys i love these and i organize it by transfer foils and i do all my transfer foils at the front and then it goes to water slide decals and these are all the ones that i have and then it goes on to encapsulation stuff. So my Lars, definitely I feel like I have to encapsulate them just because I do feel like they come off too easily underneath top coat. Um, so, I mean, if some clients want them, I will do it, but I do warn them that they will come off. Um, and then these are little embellishments and then the foils. Um, I'm just showing you guys real quick stickers from my shop, other stickers from other places that I go to. Uh, Montage Nail Supplies, I do get a lot of stickers from there. These are from CC's Nail World. She gifted me those in nail tapes, you guys. Put those in there. And these are a lot of different things. These are small embellishments and the little pom-poms. I know you guys like those when you guys see them on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is pretty much it. That is the end of it. I do have some extras, but that is it. The bigger ones, um, you guys could actually get one of those picture ones and put these in there and it'll be perfect. But the baseball card ones were perfect for all the little small stuff, especially because before I would buy all that stuff and none of my clients would use it. So if you guys are having that struggle because you keep your stuff down in the bottom of your drawer, make sure to get that. So I'm going to go ahead and back up and show you guys. That is what my nail desk looks like. And I wanna get another chair for right here. So I could just kind of have my desk pushed, or like my workspace pushed more that way and then have another chair right here. So if I do have two clients at the same time, um, especially if they come together, um, I usually only have clients that they come together. Um, and they have their appointments booked one after another and usually I'll soak off one and then do the other set. Um, that's something that I feel like is super helpful all right you guys and then right here i do want to show you guys my fan let me know if you guys want a review on this thing um but that is what that remote was for and if you, i forgot to mention if you guys want a discount code i was able to actually get you guys a discount code on archon mount so that is super amazing make sure to check them out all right you guys this is my glitter slash acrylic drawer so these i kind of just slide back and forth but this is all my glitter that I have. These are my first ones that I started out with. And these I got from Michaels. And then these are all montage glitters. Can you tell you guys I am obsessed with their glitters. And I really love their acrylics too. Milky White Balm. Um, and right now I'm really loving the Desert Rose too. Desert Rose and Desert Peach. Those are my favorite nudes from them so far. And then they even have this super light pink that one of my clients, she's been loving. But it's like basically a milk white pink. But that's super pretty. And you guys can get those at montage.com. They have a ton of stuff. And this is my Tracy's nail polish. All right, you guys. And this is my second drawer, Tracy's nails. And I have like kind of miscellaneous stuff in here and the base coat, the top coat. And then she gifted me one of these when I bought my stuff. It's the glass one, Dark Matter. And that one's so bomb. And then if you guys need a discount code for Nail Addicts too, um, this was 
one that I or these are some of them that I had gotten but I do have a code for them too and it is Lorena 10 as well I'm gonna go ahead and put all the codes down below for you guys so if these are anything that you guys have been wanting to check out I do wish I had a code for Tracy's nails because honestly her stuff is bomb I don't like to keep my polishes on the wall especially since they're gel I don't want them to go bad because my room I usually have it very very bright in here and I'm afraid of them going bad, especially if that was such a big investment. And I do want to note, you guys, when I do these, I like to have that rubber gripper down at the bottom. I don't know if you guys could see, but I love having that at the bottom because it prevents my stuff from sliding around everywhere. I do need to do that to my Tracy's nail drawer because, as you could see, they're all moved around. And I like to keep this like this so all these aren't rolling back and forth. So having my colored col my colored acrylic down like that it helps a lot because I'm able to I swatch at the bottom of them so I'm able to see kind of like what I have in stock and when somebody picks out um, something from those swatch sticks over there I like to compare them just because the only thing with montage is that none of their stuff has names besides desert rose and like the these ones that you see on top I don't know if they plan on doing um, names for these ones. I know they had one that it was mellow yellow. They have names for that, but they don't have them attached. So if you go in store, they'll have the names there. But it's like once you take it home, you kind of don't know what it's called. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you guys could see that if you guys don't have that rubber mat, they kind of move all over the place. Okay, you guys, and then this drawer, this drawer is kind of like a junk drawer. Too. I have a lot of my extras in the box, and I do have my airbrush and extra swatch sticks back there as well. Okay, I forgot to mention. Box, I am going to be using it to store some of that stuff in the back. But right here is my chromes. This is how I store them. I put all the little containers in there and have their numbers on them. But this is how I stored them, just so I am able to keep it nice and organized. And then I have these foil boxes, and I have this one as well. This is Halloween, but these I love, um, but I do have a cutting of all of these inside of that white book that I showed you guys, so they are not forgotten. Um, just because a lot of times with certain things that get left in a drawer like this, they will get forgotten. And with that being said, you end up not using it and you have all the storage. And even before I used to have all my chromes thrown in a basket. And you guys, I couldn't tell you how many duplicate chromes that I had. All right, you guys. And then these things, you guys had probably seen these in one of my videos. But basically, they are snap lids. And I love these so you don't spill all your stuff. These, these are my art inks. These are so super super good this drawer right here it needs some tlc because all this is is basically filming extra led lamps in there and then just anything filming and extra cords to charge my stuff all right you guys and for my chair honestly this is just a chair that my grandparents they let me borrow when i first first started um doing nails and yeah um so i don't know where they got it that one i got from ross over there and this is kind of like my thing right here that you guys could see how it looks on this side. And this is my little dish thing. What, my lash girl, she had actually gifted this to me. So if you are watching, thank you, Alyssa. I love it. It's so cute. Um, but this is my view from my client or from my perspective. This is what I see. And then my ring light over there for pictures and whatnot. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to try to open this. Okay, this drawer is a little crazy, but these are basically the same swatches that were over there on that stand. Some of them are a little bit different, but basically these are all the polishes that I do have. These are super great while your clients are getting their nails done because messing with those ones over there, honestly, it is a lot harder harder than it looks I'm trying to mess around with them so they could just actually just go like that and see so many colors at once so i do love that and it kind of just stays on here and it helps i like, keep it a little bit organized and then this is my dish um it's actually a shot glass but i got these from burlington and these help with water slide decals and these you guys if you guys aren't uh 
if you guys need somewhere to store your brushes and i like to put the ones at the bottom that i don't really use that much which they all gravitated towards the top just especially being in a rush putting things away okay and then this is my top coat box so you guys could pull this whole thing out if you guys wanted to but i'm going to show you guys what i have in here montage top coat of course there's a super glossy um in their mat is pretty bomb i love the mat from nail addicts um their top coat it's one that has a dispersion layer so i definitely wouldn't recommend um but this is their matte top coat and this is the sensitive gel that i had gotten from a priest and that's what i have on my nails right now because you guys know i am sensitive if you guys want a video on that make sure to follow me because i do have videos on basically how i became allergic um and this is the montage resin if you guys are not gluing your stones with this oh my gosh try it out i promise you guys try it and you guys would love it um and montage this is their foil gel that's super bomb um opi honestly their base coat is whatever to me and their lavender cuticle oil from montage 2 this smells so good but they discontinued the scent i think i don't think they're coming back with it they have like a citrus oil now um and then gel lexar this is a good foil gel too and then right here this one is zule nail glue this you're actually supposed to keep refrigerated i don't know if that's why this didn't really work that well for me um let me know how you guys if you guys tried this and how you guys like to use it if you guys notice a difference of putting it in the refrigerator or not but yeah okay you guys and i'll show you guys this box basically is like things that like my blade my acrylic brushes nail art brushes um diamond tools this was the one i got from montage but honestly i love these ones way better and these ones are more affordable too brush cleaner the brush cleaner is bomb this is like i think it's three dollars for that small one and then tweezers you guys these are a must i feel like they once you let go they're constantly shut and i love these these are great for water slide decals and other little things that like you feel like you don't want to be grabbing with your hands and especially with i recommend if you guys do the sticker decals get these um just because with the ones that i have on my shop they're super sticky and if you wear gloves i feel like they they cling to your gloves a lot but using this tool it will help it'll help a lot and then these are my famous scissors these are from montage you guys these are so pretty i love these scissors okay and these are extra decals that i have and then this i keep my clear acrylic right there because i reach for it so much and then my koopa drill and then some pepper spray just in case somebody gets crazy <laughs> and then my drill bits i need to clean those out and then i kind of just leave that like that but let's go ahead and go into the next drawer. This is all Tracy's nails right here. And I keep these for like little stamping plate or like, I don't know, for like if I need to put um, polishes on there. So I keep these right there. And then after my creations, these are so pretty, you guys. If you guys haven't tried these, try these out. These stay on the nails so good. And I have color 18, color 12 color eight and i don't know what this one is back here but these are 13.99 and they used to sell these at montage i don't know if they're selling them anymore but anywhere you guys could get these honestly get your hands on them this one is number 15 but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys because that is just how pretty they are but look at how pretty that is these are super sparkly it's like a beautiful coppery shade it's so pretty and that one is number eight but um yeah you guys so basically that is this drawer and i have opis this is actually one of the gels that i had started with that and i think the orally gels in gelish 
but these are the ones that I have lingering around now and I keep my white polish from Infinite Shine. Honestly, if you guys need a good white and you guys only use nail polish, Infinite Shine is a really nice product to have. I love, I love their colors and they're pretty flash drying too. But, and I had started out with Essie as well. You guys could see these are used and abused. Um, but Tracy's Nails, I love that she updated her packaging to the one that you've seen in the other drawer. Because that one's real nice. And these, you guys, sorry. I had just sanitized these. So I just put them at the top of my box real quick to get them out of the way. But I have my paper towels. And I have that liner at the bottom. My buffers. I love these because it's like they're not super clear like acrylic boxes. And you guys are able to like um, have just store all your stuff. Masks and sponges. And then this is my, my remote for my fan. And then this one right here. This is all my soiled stuff. Um, and yeah, I need to throw, all, or throw some of that stuff away and sanitize some of that. But this is my montage plate. I had my my hand on this or i like to display polishes on it like my new stuff that i get um but yeah these are cotton swabs those are nail forms and then the bag are more of those cotton swabs but they aren't cut down and this is for my clients that they have um they have super super dry cuticles um i like to put that on them before nipping them and all that and these are my clean implements And this drawer, you guys, I don't know why, but this drawer satisfies me so much. Nitro gloves, you guys. Get the 10 ml if you guys are able to. And these are my montage tips. I'm going to show you guys all of them. I like to keep all of my stuff that is the same, pretty much in the same thing. These are effortless coffin, effortless tapered square. This one is bomb, you guys. I love these. Ooh, and then these are the ones I used to use before Montasha came out with their other tips. These are pretty cool, too. I, I get those off of Amazon. I like those. Or I liked them before I got my Montage tips, but now I never even touch them. Hints that they're at the bottom. These are another coffin tips. Um, effortless tapered square. Another box of those because I can never have enough. Uh, then stiletto if you guys want me to do a video just solely on um the shapes of all of these make sure to comment down below and i got my gel x gel x nail extensions so these ones are in sculpted square are right, you guys sorry the camera had cut out but these are the tron legend nail express a uh, uh, priest ones all right you guys and then these ones are the tapered square or just the square tips for montage those are bomb too these are if you are someone who does really long nails highly recommend these these are so long um my clients usually they average about long not these are extra long but um these kind of average out i don't know my clients are like medium to like long that's it you know but I wish my clients would get these because these are so beautiful. Only my little sister will get these. She's my longest client that I have. But, and then right here, these are montage tips. I use these for my practice hand when gluing down tips. Um, and then right here, these are my crystals. All right, guys, and those were my crystals. And now these are my Jellix, the coffin ones. And these are both the Tron Legends. I had barely got these, so I am going to do an unboxing with you guys soon. So stay tuned for that. These are the tips I used to use. These were the Mia Secret ones. These are the actual curved ones. So you, if you guys are interested in finding curved nails now, um, definitely check out Mia Secrets because they have, or they used to have them. I don't know if they have them now, but I used to love those before because they weren't as curved but um because I would file my nails straight so honestly I'm so thankful that montage came out or just everyone everyone had came out with the straight tip nails and I love that um just because I have <laughs> like the minimal amount of filing and I think that's amazing are you guys so this is basically what I look at when I am done with my clients and this is where my cords go they go in between the desk the tabletop and the table and they come out the other side and they kind of go down to the side I don't really know what I want to do with them and you guys could see my lips are not going with the sound because audio completely cut out 
but basically this side of the closet I do use for my nail supplies. Um, so please don't judge me too hard just because this is just for storage and that's it. I didn't really have time to clean it, but basically these are my furs that I use for pictures. I have a light pink one that I rarely use in this gray one. This one's the famous one. And I like to hang them right there just because I feel like it looks super cute. It's easy for me to snag them off of there and put them back on. And back there is my bag for my my ring light. And up there at the top, you guys could see I have some Brazilian blowout. I have storage for hair just because if you guys don't know, I actually do hair as well. And I have that little heater right there that I'm pointing at. And that is... So if the room is ever too cold, I need that little heater and that thing is so powerful and it helps warm up my room real quick so then my monomer is not freezing cold and my product's not running all over the place. And that's a silk little backdrop and then I have those binders back there. One is for extra nail art when I need it, the other one's for clients and then those are the towels I use for my SMA. If you guys go to beauty school, you guys know what I mean by that sanitary maintenance area. And so I have always used that. Even when I was in the salon, the salon that I worked, I was very strict on that just because of state board and what. All right, you guys. And this is my gloves that I love for acetone. Take doing removals and whatnot just because I feel like the the very least amount of acetone will actually go through these and they are disposable so um, I'm able to throw them away after each use and then I have all of this little area it's all refill area down below where I am pointing and you guys can see my alcohol my clear acrylic and that is my basket for my dirty linen so dirty aprons or dirty towels they all go in there um but yeah, you guys, I'm so sorry that it cut out just because I really did want to be able to do a good video for you guys. And I thought my thing was recording, but my camera had actually fell in the middle of it. But that is my basket I wanted to show you guys from far away. I did get that from Ross. Super cute. Alright, you guys. If you guys made it this far, I'm so happy to have you guys. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you guys have any tips or maybe things that I should do different with my nail room, help me design it. What things should I add to it? Alright, you guys. Comment down below. I love you guys so, so, so much. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I'll be back with more videos. Bye!